I'd go back. Uh, it was kind of pricey. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed some of the prices, but I don't know. I definitely have other stores I can go to that won't be as expensive. But I'm glad I went. It was a nice experience. Nice store, and you know, it's a neighborhood grocery store, so you know, it, it's nice to be able to contribute. Um, they had ravioli, they had like prosciutto and cheese and all kinds of concoctions. And I mean, it was such a small container and it was like $10.99, but oh, so I attempted to get it, but I'm like, Ugh, that's a lot of money. So I decided to pass on it. But, um, that chicken that you saw me pick up, that's going to be tonight's supper. Um, I'm going to include it at the end of the video here if you want to check out uh, what I do with it if you want to try it. I added the pot on high and I let it get hot. I then added this marinade that I had pre-made. You don't need this marinade for this recipe. I had it and I just decided to use it. You certainly could use chicken stock. Um, even that you really don't need to use. I just like to use it because I happen to like my food with a lot of sauce. Gave that a good mix. I then added the chicken. Then I just gave it a good mix. Then I just let it sit for a little bit, not long at all, in the marinade. Then I added half of this chicken taco seasoning. I always use taco seasoning, but since I saw this at the store, um, which I have never seen before or used, I wanted to give that a try. Then I added the salsa. I added the whole jar. Gave that a stir, got that all mixed up with the previous marinade that I had put in there. I put the cover on and then I let it sit for about a half hour. Then I added in the potatoes. I did salt the potatoes. I really like the way the salt tenderizes um, the potatoes, so that's why I added it. And then I went ahead and added the other half of the taco seasoning over the potatoes. And here you have it, just four hours later, cooked on high, you have yourself an amazing meal. I added two cans of green beans. This would be amazing with fresh green beans but I had some cans that I wanted to um, use up so that's why I use that but either way it will be great if you're going to give this a try just know that this is a very spicy dish so if you're definitely not big on spice you want to go ahead and use the mildest salsa that you can find other than that this is delicious let me know if you make it and enjoy <laughs>